So welcome to this short video on how to roll your neckerchief. I'm just going to give you a quick introduction to all about our neckerchiefs and why we wear them. So neckerchiefs are first introduced into scouting at the very very start as part of our uniform. They always have been. And their shape is a triangle when unrolled. Looks a bit like this. And the reason for this is that you can do lots of things with triangles that so you might need to be able to use it as a bandage or a sling. So it's very something that we can wear on ourselves in person, but then we can take it off and it's got multiple other uses. So your colours, and you might see around in district events, that the neckerchief, lots of people wear different coloured neckerchiefs. And that's to associate which group or colony you're with. So some neckerchiefs are all one colour, like this one. This one's all plain white. Others are made up of more different colours. So they might be plain or they might be like this one, which is pink and has a silver border to it. This border is actually really pink because it's reflective. So you won't be losing me in the dark anytime soon. So this is just a very, very simple one colour, whole colour with one border on it. And it can get even more complicated than that. So some neckers are split in half. So they have two colours on them. So you see this one is split in half with two colours. No, and there, but this one also has a border on it as well. So some will just be split in half. And others will have be split in half and have a border. So those are the different kinds of neckerchiefs you get. They come in all different colours. It, for some groups, the ones that have them split in half, you might see and find a group that has the same colours as you, but they might be the opposite way round. In things. So, traditionally, when we in scouting, when it first started, they didn't have woggles and they used to tie the bottom of their neckers with a knot. Now, today we commonly use a friendship knot, which is, I mean, it looks like four little squares, and it's a square knot just like that. And it's tied by somebody who is your friend. So you don't tie it yourself. Someone else has to tie it. And it also says that once it's been tied in the bottom of your necker, you're not allowed to untie it either. So it has to go in the washing machine with the knot still intact. Other things that you might put on your necker once, so if you're not tying it in the knot, you might have a woggle. So, as you go up in scouting, you'll end up with a leather wobble that might look like this one. Or they come in different designs. So this one's just a plain fleur de lis leather wobble. You can also get some funkier looking wobbles. So this one's one of a duck. So this one has some holes cut in the side and the bottom so that the two strands can go down the side and come out the bottom and then the duck sits up right here. Or in beavers, when you first start, we generally give you a plastic wobble. And the colour of the wobble might represent which lodge you're in. So that's basically the basic info onto our neckerchiefs. Or scarves, or necker, just depends all where you've grown up and what you call it. So now let's take a look at how to roll it neatly. Firstly, you want to make sure you have big enough space to lie your scarf down out nice and flat. If you want to, you can, with the help of your parents, give it an iron to take out some of these wrinkles. You can see in the creases in it. And then starting the longer edge, what you're going to do is fold, actually before we even start, what I'm going to make sure is here on the label, you're going to write your name on it, or you can get your parents, they might have a little sticky label that has your name on it, so we know it's yours, 
every meeting. And then from there, I'm going to long inch on the point farthest away from the flat surface. I'm going to roll it over slightly. So you can just put your hands further out at the edge. And then gently roll it over like this. All the way down. So we're trying to keep it nice and keep it nice and tight as well. Keep rolling all the way down, press it out with your hands. Go and kind of one more rolling. Keep it as even as possible. So we go to a small a triangle with all our rolls nicely in, and then we can pick it up by the middle. Make sure there's no fluff on it and then put your woggle on once you have your woggle to hand and then it's ready to go. The other thing once it's in this stage you can run the iron back over it with the help of your parents so that the roll, the nice creases and folds that we've put in stay in place.